Okay, Mozzie's with me. Good night. Hey guys, welcome back to another solo queue video. Today we're going to be playing match number 15 of the season. We actually just found a game, okay? I had the advanced stats up for you for just a second there until we found this one. We're playing in about diamond MMR for the hidden matchmaking at this point. Not the best map pool. Okay, Emerald, Canal, and Nighthaven Labs. And the new consulate, which I haven't played too much. I'm going to go for Emerald, though. I do like the new consulate. Hopefully you can get some villa, though. That'd be fun. Oh. Oh, wow. We actually got consulate. Okay. This will be interesting. I have played this twice on my videos so far this season. This is probably like the third or fourth time then I've played it this season. Outside of like some quick matches at the start, but... Okay, we got the jack ladder there, luckily. That means we're on defense first. I do like that. I feel more confident on defense, I think, but we'll see. We'll see. They got rid of Fuse. That's a good sign, I think, because I don't think Fuse is a good ban at all. Bandit? Those are some weird bands, but okay. Typical, I guess. Not at all, but still. I'm the only one banning, so I got the mirror band in too. Let's go. On most maps, I'm fine with just banning Jackal mirror, honestly. It's just more comfort things, because Jackal is very annoying to play against. He's just free, so easy. They just needed to delete Jack from the game, honestly. Mm, but enough going on about that. I think I'm going to play Capcan. He got unbanned for once. Since they banned Bandit instead. Capcan on console at least is a very popular band, so that's why I'm going for that. We got a platinum card on our team, so maybe a lower lobby? I'm not sure. Also a copper one, who knows. We are 10 and 4 this season so far. Our win rate's very good, so our hidden matchmaking is very high. That's why I'm still gaining like 105 or something for a win. Something like that. Going very well. Already in the silver. Always reinforce the single wall, just so it's harder for them to push into yellow stairs. We don't have any denial, so they can get it for free if they have hard breach, but still. Kind of like the death balcony wall, you just want to reinforce it in case. I don't know how I feel about that. I like a reinforcement on the right side for cover. Not sure what the meta is. Like I said, I've only played this map like a handful of times, if that. So, still trying to learn it. Maybe... Can't put it because of the mozzie best, but maybe putting some captains here would be good. Like, late around, I won't even, like, be worrying about that door for Capcan traps. Like, who's going to check for that? Right? Someone on the repel. Freebie for me. I don't know what that guy's doing. That's Carrier, too, so Diffuser's going to be outside. There's at least another dude on the ground out here. So, did I hit? they have the Diffuser, I'm sure. Timbuk2 just killed someone. Nice. What a name. We have a bulletproof yellow, and this camera's good too. Oh, that's a mozzie one. That was weird. It was like flashing. Usually people like pushing spiral, it seems, from what I've seen so far. Maybe I should have went to Chanka for the 2x scope. Last time I played this map on a video, I was using Tachanka only on defense, and it was going really well. I'm just going to hold on to reception here. We're in sight. It's not the fuser, actually. He didn't have it. Timbuk 2 down. Just chilling. D 
think the last one's near where the thermite was. Oh, never mind. He's somewhere in sight. Yeah. That's where I thought he was. That orcs was kind of lost, but got the kill. Okay, gonna go basement now. If we can get this one, that'd be huge. At least getting the two main sites, that's what you're gonna want on defense. The two on split for this one. That's pretty much how it works on any map, but especially this one. Should I bring out the Finry on him? I'm taking the cap again just so I have impact grenades. I do want to try impact tricking the breach. I feel like that's a good strategy now that the top is breakable. If you can bring some impacts, maybe with a Cade, paired up with a Cade trick. Cade trick and impact trick that wall, and you can probably keep it closed. It just depends if they're going to actually go for the main breach, because doing the backside attack is very strong on this map, I've learned. I've seen some videos at least. I haven't really tried it myself. I kind of just die. I haven't had very good attacks on this map yet. I don't really know what the meta push is. Especially in solo queue, which is usually what I play, obviously. These are good cap games for sure. They're not going to look there. Hopefully. Should I go reinforce this wall? I think I'm going to. I know it seems like pushing this, like I was saying. I'm just going to call the Seeker. I think that's what it is. People have called the Seeker kind of like a clubhouse thing. Why would you spot me? I guess I am cap game, but still. It's not worth the drone. Reinforce this one too, so they have to push to the hallway and the door. That'll be good. Nobody got hatches though, unfortunately. Probably gonna want to get both these hatches, at least this one here. So they can't just rush in the hallways. He's here. Or at least get one. Okay, nice. At least we got a rotate made now for that. Yeah, I'm not even sure if they're going for this wall, so my impact trick might be unneeded. Yeah, you can just break. Never mind. Something just happened in the back. You know, I like this angle. It's Ash lit. I think that was Ash. Yep. And my cap games, unfortunately. Oh! Why was I thinking she couldn't rotate into there? I don't know what I was thinking. I won't be making that mistake again, though. I don't know what I was doing. That's on me. <laughs> I was thinking he was stuck there in the corner or something. Even though I seen his bullets going through the wall. I know I seen the bullets. I just thought it was like a softball or something, you know? At least he's dead now. I got my assist. We'll take it. Hopefully the team can clutch this one up. Just an Osa. Still got cap guns up there, luckily. There she is, just hiding on yellow. Oh, I only put one there, so it's not going to be a kill, probably. Cool. We're about to see. Nope. She was not lit enough. Oh, nice play, Jaeger. I like it. Nice, let's go. That was a great play. Good stuff. I'm just going to be the assist master in this one. I got two already. Doing it all with the kills and the assists. Okay, we're going to go piano for sure, yeah. I heard the server and the, the whatever, the split site is terrible. There's just way too many ways they can come in. Especially with that new, like, secret tunnel. The one I just reinforced. So I don't recommend going there. I don't even have Valkyrie on this account. What the... Okay, I'm just going to bring the Fenrir. For just a lot of traps, basically. Since I don't really know this site at all, I'm going to be pretty bad, I think. We'll see what happens, I guess. Hopefully my team's just crazy on this one, or they just don't know how to attack it. I really don't know what I'm doing. 
How do we know what you're reinforced? I think it's like a good strat to make holes right here. And then reinforce this. I've seen this before. In one of my matches. I think that was the very first one of the season. I was doing that, but I'm not sure now. Again, I'm learning this map with you guys. This is also going to be a good video to see how, like, someone like me, an experienced player, like, goes about learning a new map. So for any beginners or newer players out there trying to learn a map, say, like, Outback, Emerald Plains, anything like that, basically. Not really Outback, but I guess the new version. Like, Emerald Plains or Stadium Bravo or whatever it may be. Well, that's a nice little thing here. Get a spawn peak though. Yeah, and then dance with me. Put some barb down there. That's a terrible barb, but whatever. Since the door's open. I'm still rocking with a suppressor holographic on this gun. I did like the iron sights for a little bit, but I've switched. The hollow's been feeling very nice with us. And how about the skin though? I don't even have the skin on my main. I don't know what it is, but love it. Not sure if that's an angle out there or not that I'm seeing. Again, I'm learning the angles with you guys here. 4v4. Um, they might be hitting sight. There's nobody in sight, I don't think. Nope. I want to jump out, but there's going to be a claymore, no doubt. Yep, they have planted in a 4v4. Hopefully somebody gets aggressive here. Okay, Mozzie's with me. Good night. Oh, they planted here. Oh no, I did not expect when Sharp left. Okay, nice trade. Oh, don't know the Timbuk2 was out there in that corner either. He ran away after he killed me. That was a good positioning by Timbuk2 there to hide in that corner. I was not expecting that. I was just trying to clear it very fast and then commit to the right because we were running a little bit lower on time. And we had to get another pick there. I think it was like 2v3. Unfortunate. That's okay though. Like we said before, we don't need to get that around on the third site. A little bit tougher. That was a good attack too. It's all good. I should have just pre-aimed the left side too. Kind of rushed it. I want to bring the thermite out. I never really play thermite in these videos. You guys really don't see me play hard breach in general. We're about to see why that does probably if this doesn't go correctly. Because <laughs> nobody helps me get the stuff off the wall. Like They're going to have a Kate, I'd imagine, or a Mute. If it's Garage even. If not though, they're probably going to have stuff on the upper walls as well. Doesn't even matter. I will do it though. I seen somebody in the comments a few videos back, I think, ask for thermite. So I'm doing it. Maybe that was a Twitch stream, I'm not sure. To me, I want to put the thermite though, because I never do. Yeah, they went upstairs. Lost my drone, unfortunately, but all good. I'm committing the thermite. Oh, they went basement. Okay. I honestly thought they were upstairs there until we found it. Yep. Just as I thought. There is a cade on the wall, so like, I'm totally useless now. And it's a 3v5. This is why I don't take hard breachers. If you ever wanted to know, this is why. Also, let's be a lesson to not play hard breachers when you solo queue. Unless you're playing ace for the gun and then just extra on top for the breach charges. The hard breaches. Oh, it's barricaded. What? This frost was shooting at something, but I wasn't sure what. Oh, this is an angle? Okay. Well, that's just great.
was doing, but I guess that's what. I still don't really know what he was shooting at, but whatever. I almost killed him too. I started pre aiming crouch. I was just going to pre fire, then run away, but. He seen my little legs, who. So. It's whatever, anyways. That was like a 2v4, so. We were in a bad spot. I just needed a lucky pick somehow. I just kind of had to bait for kills. Just like the Brava's doing now. Because we're in a terrible spot. Lost all of our team within like a minute. And we could not get the wall open. Crazy too, we have a Zero. Zero can actually go to the... Um, the breach drone hole and shoot one far in the site and then you can uh, zap the Cade off from there. Wherever the Cade's you in at. Probably on the wall somewhere. Unless they have some advanced spot on the top. That's gonna get... Yep. Do that right at the electrified wall. And then he peeked right into that. Okay. It's okay though. He's in a terrible spot. Oh, I got the 333 three, three going. The lucky triple numbers. Okay, well, we know they're going to go upstairs this time. Do I just go buck and open up Secret Tunnel myself and just crash walk through the map? Because, honestly, I don't know what else to do, so we'll see. I might pull it off. Where's the camera out here? There it is. I don't even know what the defaults are, to be honest. Trying to learn with you, like I said. It's unfortunate for them, their best player disconnected too during the prep phase. So. I'm just going to hope there's nobody hiding out down here like a gremlin or something, you know? And if there is, then they can have that kill. Whatever. No one's on the cam. I'm just playing for audio, really. If I hear somebody sprinting around, I can get a freebie off of it. Did I just go up spiral? Wow, of course. Okay, I'm gonna join my team on yellow. Looks like there's two guys there already. Nice. One below. Just kind of ratting around down here. Okay, 4v2. Cade's on site, we know. See, this is the reinforcement I was talking about. I think that's the good strat to do. With the team's planting. Nice. Okay, give me this kill. I want to kill. Never mind. Guess he rotated off. Sash just stole all the kills that round. Oh. What was that lineup and what was that lag on the kill cam? No clue what's happening, but we'll take it. Three round one. I didn't do anything. Team stepped up there. Even if it was a 5v4. It's very unlucky for them. They lost their top player for that round. But I think I might take Nook with a hard breach charge. Or hard breach charges. It might seem stupid because she has grenades. But this way I can kind of go in secret tunnel myself with Nook. And then sneak around. Since she's dead quiet. Put the suppressor on, of course. I love the suppressor on Nook. Three guns I mainly use suppressors on. I don't know why. Just what I do for Nook. It makes sense. Nook. The G36 I like the suppressor on. And then the MP7 lately I've been using it. So if you ever wanted to know my attachments. I do have a whole attachment video. I did every single operator. I went through every single one. For all of my loadouts. Attack and defense. So if you want to check that out, that'll be on my YouTube. Did that like a few weeks ago now. It is pretty updated too. I don't switch too often. Maybe I should just take in grenades and try to throw in perfectly on this wall, but that's a risk.
Just get me in here. I wanted the nook. I'm going right up spiral this time. I'm not getting spotted from that cam. Also, we already have 4v3 30 seconds in. 4v2. That is just insane. Oh, teammate just repelled down the skylight. Okay. Let's follow him up. I guess I did not need the nook after all. This guy's gonna peek out into me. Just making sure the camera's not watching me until I turn this on. Waiting for my doke to do something. Don't know where armor is at. Oh, she's just chilling. Okay. Hope the team is gonna just get the plant off here. See Vord. Doka Beacon is way for me to push around here. He's in that corner. Just pre-firing stuff. I think he might have went out in the room. Let's try to sneak around the back here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's out of the hall. There you go. I was not expecting to stand that far back from the door, but we got it either way. <laughs> what was that body animation? It, like, glitched out so hard. That's okay, though. Hey, at least we went positive at the end. Even with our three assists that we racked up. Me and Amru both had three. She kind of carried, but we'll take it. Rarely have teammates that get more kills than me. Gladly will accept. I'm happy with how I played though for being a new map that I haven't played very often at all. Usually these higher ranked players that I'm playing against have played it more than me since I don't play very often. This season on my main I need to play more for my alpha pack opening. Didn't get an alpha pack there, but... Yeah, we're still getting 102, by the way, in silver, so very good. It has not been going down, really. I think I started around, like, 106, 107, 108. And it's barely gone down through, like, two whole ranks, so I'll take that. There's the stats, if you're wondering. 2.8 win-loss still. I've been dominating out here. Out here in the solo queues. Here's the advanced stats. We're 11 and 4 now for the first 15. Very, very good stuff. 73% win rate. That is amazing for solo queue. Hopefully, you guys learned something though and learned something about the new console, maybe. If you did, leave a like down there below as always. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.